what do you have to say? I don't know why, but it's really cold right here. I mean, like, I can feel something right here. What's up fam? I am here inside of the Titanic exhibit. I've always been fascinated with the Titanic. Love the Titanic movie with Leonardo DiCaprio. If you watch some of my Queen Mary videos, I have mentioned the Titanic before. There are a couple of other exhibits. I wanted to check this one out and people have reported this being haunted. It is in a haunted location. There's real artifacts here that were on board the Titanic. Now when entering, here into the exhibit, they give you this card here, and this has some information on a passenger, a real life passenger that was on board the Titanic, and this is kind of like our, it's, it's like it's us. We're gonna relive their moments on the Titanic. I mean, that's what I'm kind of thinking in my head. His name is Mr. Benjamin Guggenheim. Guggenheim? And he's 46 years old from New York, New York, accompanied by his mistress, Leo, Leotine, oh, I'm probably not saying this right. Valet Victor Giglio and chauffeur Rene Pernault, who traveled in second class. And he's in first class in cabin B84. And he's a millionaire who made his fortunes in mining and smelting. So, I don't know, we're gonna hold on to this. And at the end of this exhibit, I guess there's something that we can do. You have to scan this QR code. But anyways, I brought my spare box. This is gonna be fun. I've always wanted to do a haunted video inside of the Titanic, and this is as close as we are gonna get to the Titanic and to the ghosts that are attached to the Titanic, and of course, its artifacts. Hope you're ready for this adventure. Let's do it. So I am here alone, there's nobody around. I'm gonna be kind of quiet just to kind of have some respect. If you do hear anything, please let me know here in the comments if you see anything. Might run into a ghost, somebody that was attached to one of these things here on the Titanic. Here's some pictures. This is the very entrance of the exhibit. And these are people that were aboard the Titanic. Now one thing that I probably should have known about the Titanic, it was only on its first trip. You know, it's not like it went on a few trips. It was the maiden voyage that didn't make it, and it was only a few days later. So, let's check this out. Really cool. Whoa, what is this? There's some coal? It's like we're on the Titanic. Look at this, this is what it would look like. No. I'm not sure if you know this, there is a Titanic II being constructed as we speak. Now I think it's gonna be done by next year or the year after. Not 100% on that, but I want to be on that ship. I may not be able to be on the, the very first, like the maiden voyage, but I am gonna be on the Titanic II. And it's gonna be an exact replica of the Titanic. Pretty cool. Now there was all kinds of people on board the Titanic. There was middle class, it was very high class, rich people. There was even people that, you know, could barely afford a ticket that, well, I'm not sure if that was, huh, I think it was, I'll let you know right now. There was a, there was a third class. So there was third class, I don't know what you would call it, third class. I would just say there were probably people that wanted an affordable ticket. Oh man, look at this. Is this stuff that was on the Titanic right here? Electric light bulb, double door knob and lock from service room. No way. That's so cool. I don't know why, but it's really cold right here. Really, really cold. I mean, like I could feel something right here. Dude, 
I wasn't expecting to see all this cool stuff here. All of this stuff came to from the Titanic. Uh, that is not a giant mug, by the way. Only the first class were fitted with running water. So yeah, I guess you would have something like that if you were in third class. I mean, it sure does beat peeing in a bottle. Would you do caca in there? Around the corner is something really cool. This is the iconic staircase, and it was replicated exactly from the blueprints of the Titanic. Now, from what I was told, they, in the movie, made the, the Titanic ship bigger because people were smaller back then, but, you know, like, in today's age, like, people are actually, yeah, people are taller. So, for example, a woman, average height was 4'11". Men, like, average height was about 5'7". So I would be considered a taller man. I'm about 5'9", 5 5'10", 5 above average, kind of average height now. There we have a, a spittoon that was in the smoking rooms. And if you didn't know, our currency back in the day here in the United States was a lot bigger. Look, look at those bills. Like they're probably like twice the size. And I just did confirm everything in these glass cases did come from the Titanic. And we got some plates here. Pretty cool stuff from third class. Got some forks too and spoons. How cool is that? Now this is an exact replica of what a first class cabin would look like. And I mean, I don't know, like here at the Luxor, the, the hotel room is probably a little bit bigger, but this is really nice for back then. Kind of reminds me of the Queen Mary a little bit. Very nice furniture. I'm not sure if the furniture is from the Titanic. I, I seriously doubt it, but this is for sure. This stuff that would probably be in the bathrooms. Because remember, first class was the only one that had running water. Yo, this is cool. Look at this. Whoa. They even put these mirrors here just to kind of replicate like a, like a hallway. Whoa. This is amazing. Here's a, a safety flotation device vest. I wonder if that actually works. All right, this is where it starts to get dark. April 14th. Oh, no way. Yo, check this out. Freaking iceberg right here. A real iceberg. Wait, is it? I, mean, I see someone's hand right there. Oh, oh my gosh, that's cold. More artifacts. So I don't have a whole lot of time in here. I do want to quickly do a spirit box. I didn't really mention to them that I was going to do a spirit box. So I'm going to kind of do this really quick. I don't think anybody's ever done a spirit box session here on the Titanic or the Titanic exhibit. Are there any spirits here that want to communicate with us? I didn't bring my speaker. biggest artifacts I see here from the Titanic that right there was used to like keep the ropes from getting like tangled up and stuff but check this out this is what the Titanic would look like underwater and I'm sure there's still a bunch of goodies down there I mean obviously there's been a ton of prospectors and I don't know if that's what you call them I don't even know how like I mean I'm sure they send submarines down there, but I mean, are people actually scuba diving down to the Titanic to take things out? One day they're gonna bring this, that would be so cool. Imagine that, if one day they can bring the Titanic out of the water, that would be amazing. But this is what it would look like today. I take that back about the biggest artifact in here. This is this has gotta be it right here. 
and this is AKA The Big Piece. And this was, I think, discovered in 1994, but this is exactly where it came from. This piece right here came off of the Titanic. How cool is that? Look at all those rivets, too. They say there was like three million rivets that put the Titanic together. And if you're wondering how that was taken from, you know, the bottom of the Titanic, they have like a little, little video on display here. Yeah, 1994, right there, if you wanna read that. But that's what it looked like, and I would imagine they did have to preserve it a little bit. So, um, unfortunately, we do have a little bit of music here, but I'm gonna try to do another spirit box communication. Now, I'm not gonna be able to really react too much to the sounds being heard, but you're gonna hear them before me, and of course, I'll be able to hear them in, in post-editing, so this is exactly where I wanna be. I wish there wasn't any music, though. So, all right. Are there any spirits tied to the big piece here? This is the biggest part of the Titanic. I want to hear what you have to say to us. Hi. You want to talk to us? What do you have to say? Swim. Swim? Is that say swim? I'm not sure. I'm really sorry about what happened to you. Really, really sorry. It was deep? Did you drown? I'm sure there was people that died on the... I'm sorry if this is blurry, I can't tell. But yeah, I'm sure there was people that died that just... trying to trying to survive too, you know? Maybe, maybe they died before even drowning by being attacked by somebody that wanted something that they had, you know? Maybe it, it could be a flotation device. We want to talk to the spirits here that are attached to the Titanic. You know one thing that I would love to do is have a ship go up above, you know, the, like in the waters of where the Titanic rests today. Is there anything you want to tell us? Is there any other spirits that want to say anything to us? It's a little bit more silent in here. That's a lot, dude. Here. Here? Who's here? Bob. Bob. Okay, who's Bob? Did you die on the Titanic? Me. Me. Yes. yes. A lot of names coming through here. I've never heard this thing throw out that many names. Okay. Check this out. This is from William Henry. And I mean, you could kind of see, yeah, men were not very big back then. I mean, those, those are some small shoes, maybe like a size size six or a size seven. I mean, like I, I wear a size size 10 shoe, which I mean, that had to have been massive back then. And there is also a, a, a pocket knife and London bus tickets. And look, look at this shirt, man. Now, this is one thing that I do find interesting here, that the wreck of the Titanic, it's, it's a mile wide long, like all the debris is. Pretty cool stuff. Now, I was talking to one of the workers, and they said that in one of the hallways that we were in right now, she has experience. 
she has experienced some stuff. Uh, and one of the things was she heard whistling and she went and talked to some of the workers and there was nobody there. And this is when they were like closing up. They kind of walked through uh, and they cover all the exhibits. Like all this stuff gets covered up. Actually, I think there's some back here that are getting covered up. And I guess they do that in case like, you know, water comes down, you know, so not to ruin anything. But yeah, they, this stuff is very protected, which is really nice. And one thing that I didn't know of too, remember I was talking about like possibly bringing up the Titanic one day. They, I guess they can't do that. The Titanic is that bad of shape that if they tried to excavate it or, or bring it up to the surface, it would just fall apart because of you know all the bacteria in the water, all the salt. In fact, you know this this was preserved, and I, I did did confirm that this was preserved. If not, this would have probably fell apart too. Oh, nice. Look, these are belongings of of people very important people Edgar Samuel Andrew second class passenger belongings of Marion Marianne Meanwell born in 1848 here's the last bit of the exhibit and it shows each of the classes and how many lives were saved and lost and you can see here the crew wow the crew lost 679 people saved 213 it's like there was more people that were lost than saved, um, except for in first class. First class, there was a lot more people saved than died. All right, one last thing this is what we get to do. We get to learn a little bit more on Mr. Benjamin Guggen, Guggen, Guggenheim. Uh, let's see if he survived. All right. Uh, right there. Bam. Oh, here we go. The Guggenheim family mourned the loss of the fifth of seven brothers. Okay, he did not make it. He was a victim. Dressed in formal wear and entrusted a message to his wife to steward etches. Wait a minute. He was cheating on his wife? Shame on you, mister. If anything should have happened to me, tell my wife in New York that I've done my best and doing my duty. Guggenheim's body, if recovered, was never identified. So he sank to the bottom, I guess. May you rest in peace. I mean, I'm glad you made your peace with your wife. Yeah, because on this card, it does say that he had a, a mistress. I'm sure his wife wasn't cool with that. I mean, I would hope not. All right, big shout out to the Titanic exhibit crew. Especially the, I forgot her name, uh, she was protecting all this stuff, but I did get this really cool picture that I'm probably going to use for my thumbnail. I don't know. They're going to send me a digital copy. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's me in the, the grand ballroom. I guess you're not supposed to take pictures in there, probably because, you know, they got cameras set up and they don't want other guests to be interrupted. But this was definitely a neat experience. Let me know if you did see or hear anything. I would love to come back here, maybe with all the lights off. I'm gonna try to get permission to do something like that. I think that would be cool, but yeah, big shout out to them for letting me go in there and film. If you are in Las Vegas, I would definitely hit up the Luxor, you know, the Titanic exhibit, and right next door where they have the dead bodies where I showed and you know doing my my haunted Luxor video pretty cool place if you missed that video I'm gonna leave a link they say this place itself is haunted there was a woman that threw herself all the way from up there and landed I think she landed uh, not here it was yeah it was over there it was a buffet at the time in 1994 pretty sad story may she rest in peace that's gonna do it for this adventure fam thank you so much for watching make sure to smash that like button if you haven't already and be sure to check out the first video that i put out here you guys wanted me to come here I'm glad i did it was definitely a fun experience always wanted to come visit the titanic this is the closest that i'll ever get to the titanic in real life other than be on the replica one replica one anyways gotta go for now before we leave give me a kiss.